What's up, boys? Divisional round of playoffs. Here we go. It's going to be tough, man. Be real tough. It's the Chiefs and the Texans. All that and more coming up next. We are set for the NFL playoffs on EA Sports, and we are in the heart of Texas at Sold Out NRG Stadium in Houston. Coming up, divisional round Saturday. We've got an AFC battle on tap as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Houston Texans. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Chiefs, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. And the quality of opponent goes up a notch here in this divisional round, but he's coming off such a sensational performance, I'm not sure he cares. Four touchdown passes in the last game, and you'd have to imagine his head coach would sign up for that right now. And Mahomes going to put it up right away. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Mahomes going to throw. And he's got his man on the out. Just one catch for him last week in the wild card win, but getting involved early here and picks up the first. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Pushes past him. He'll get this up to about the 44. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 44-yard line, here's second and six. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Well, this one complete, it's Rasheed Rice. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Second and ten. Mahomes now to throw. Oh, what a play. And it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it. And so a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Defense! 
This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now here's Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Noah Gray from 19 yards away. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Forget about the storylines of being intimidated in the place of across the 30, up to the 33. So here come the Texans now for their first drive. And they will be let out by their second-year quarterback. For a guy still in his second year in the NFL, this is obviously a big spot for him to try and fill. Able to engineer the victory in the Wild Cup teammates as well. But as he said after the win, things are only going to get tougher from there. He understands the situation he's in. He understands what's ahead of him in this one. And this will be a Texans first down. Oh, come on. Hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, is going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Second and 11. Now Stroud. Flush to his right. They'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. Oh, Nico! And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A huge play there for Houston. 33 yards. It's not a surprise when you read Scott Hill for to watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And power running here down to the six-yard line. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. From the six now on second and three. Get in there. Get in there. Touchdown. A six yard touchdown run. And the Texans respond. On their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle. Because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. When people talk about plays being blown up, that's exactly what they're talking about. That's exhibit A for physical play. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Only able to gain a couple there, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield out into some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And a good job defensively. They stopped him short of the first at the 32. The time called here because a member of the Texans is in some discomfort. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. The Bohorquez on to punt as he gets it away. Fielded at about the 28. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Texans will take over with a first and 10. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And yeah, they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And he'll get a few yards here to the 34. 
That's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, and it's good for a first down as well. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Right back to Singletary on second down. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? We love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down of the 46. Stroud sets up the play action. He'll let this go deep for Collins. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. Stroud on third down now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Now officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. That's caught again by Schultz. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Third and three. They'll run it for the first time with Damian Pierce. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Yeah, it's more strong running. Excellent blocking the point of attack. Look at this little drive brewing right here. These two teams all tied after one. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Now a toss to Singletary running to the left. And out of bounds all the way down. The three. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. And when you get into the divisional round of the playoffs, this is where having the ability to run the football is such an advantage. The defenses, they're generally going to be tougher the further you go along. So if you can get something established up front, it's going to give you a great chance to move on. Throwing now is Stroud. And that is caught. 
I like that matchup. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was Nico Collins who finished it off with a touchdown reception. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. On first down, Mahomes. And that's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Mahomes. What? He's got a man wide open, complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. To the 36-yard line, stop there. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Play action. Now Get him! Go Good shit, Will. Will Anderson. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. And that's a heck of a moment for your first sack of the game because if this long drive ends without a touchdown because of that sack, they're going to look back and say that might be one of the biggest plays of this contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh my God. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 18. That's good for 28 yards. I tell you what, if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes, I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw. But 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases that all I'm saying now is that's a gorgeous play. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Brings up second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Darnell Mooney from 13 yards out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from drawing level. Those are the touchdowns that aren't just scored on Sundays or on Monday night. Those are the ones that are scored during the week because they had that preparation in a great route run. Oh, I love that observation because you don't just roll out on game day and say, okay, go run this route and let's get it done. That means exactly what you said. The practice had to occur beforehand, which led to the timing, which led to the touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drives seven plays in length. And finishing it all off was Darnell Mooney with a touchdown reception. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And the Texans set to come onto the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? 
I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Those are the types of run, Charles, that they say this first-year running back can provide a lot more of in the future. He made it look easy, didn't he? Picking up that first down. Some have described him as a diamond in the rough. With a lot of polish, nice little buffing. This guy could be one of the top backs going forward. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and a couple. Pierce takes it straight ahead. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. 50 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 36. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down. But there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? So, Charles, this a defense that hasn't made a lot of mistakes like this on the road to this playoff matchup, but that a bad one there. Yeah, you definitely want to rattle and shake up the other quarterback, but you know you've got to do it the right way. Otherwise, touchdown! A great play there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Texans have taken the lead. CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking left side of he's got a man. That's great. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Pacheco gets it up the gut. Oh, look at the juke. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Mahomes to throw on second down. this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A game there of 30 big ones. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? The stretcher right there turned it into a really nice game. Ball start. Awesome. 
Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Back-to-back -back plays of right around 30 yards, and the field position has totally been flipped. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. <laughs> That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. So it's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Oh, great. He's only going to get this to about the 32. Now, during that okay, run, yeah. an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And he is going to have a Texans first down, and he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Stroud to the air on first and ten. Flushed out right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because you just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they had incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. Ah! They get to Stroud, nowhere to go, Fuck. and he goes down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Fielded at the 20. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. Mahomes now on first down. His throw Thank God he didn't catch that. would have been fucking He's ridiculous. Out his arm saying throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball. And he doesn't concentrate and drops it. And then folks just driving a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on the first two throws has him humbling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down. Come on! There he goes left side. God damn it! The 20. Fuck, man! What are y'all doing? Isaiah 
Pacheco. 73 yards. And the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And the Texans going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation Holding. if they decide Watch. to take a shot. Imagine that. Horseshit. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. And Fuck, man. Way forward for a few as the clock will run. Brought down by Willie Gay. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. This is the first of four Divisional Round matchups coming up this weekend. We'll get back out to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look ahead to tomorrow's other Divisional Round games in the AFC. And it looks like a good one, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills squaring off against the Cincinnati Bengals. We got a strong first half out of the running back, Isaiah Pacheco. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Both of these offenses had their share of <sighs> in that first half. Man, 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 man. Moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Final adjustments are underway in the locker rooms. Which of these two teams will survive and advance to next weekend's AFC Championship game? To find out, we go back to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The Texans going to take over here to start quarter number three. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. Jalen Watson dropped him defensively. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run. But I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run. One that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 37. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 37-yard line. Pierce now up the middle. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Oh, Lord. Run in injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. On second down, it's Stroud. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. And he comes back with one complete. 
And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Call it a very strong gain of 24. I do think the same time on third man, many defenders just get caught watching the sticks instead of watching the ball. And the guy who's got it, because here, they just got the ball into the receiver's hands and told him to do it yourself. A little bit of a desperation play. And he was able to take the short throw and turn it into a big game and a conversion on third down. That's a big pickup. And now they're in the hurry up. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Stroud to throw it. Didn't see that one coming, did you? CJ Stroud, a five yard touchdown run. And the Texans are an extra point away from evening this one up. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. He's got it. This thing's turning a bit wild here. We're tied at 28. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was C.J. Stroud who finished off that drive with a touchdown run. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The ball back to the Chiefs and Isaiah Pacheco. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? Dude, what are y'all doing? Every snap as if another receiver can get down. Oh, my them. God. He's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. Bro, what are y'all doing, bro? And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 122 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 49-yard line. Here's Pacheco once again. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? On second down, here's Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game, and let's face it, I don't really need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Delp it. This is why I brought you in, bro. Like, lock this mother... Lock Noah Gray down, dude. to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Fucking crazy. Mahomes now on first down. What are y'all doing? Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Yes. Finally, dude. Henry Toto there to bring him down defensively. The offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and management became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. Now Mahomes. 
And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Jarnell Mooney with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. So this game tied at the half, and we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection. Can you stop this motherfucker, dude? Now they're feeling good. Cannot. Chances here in the second half. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Houston's offense taking over again. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Oh, that's one as a quarterback where you put both hands on your helmet and say, I can't believe I just did that. If he puts a little more touch on that ball, the receiver's still running. Instead, it's just an incomplete pass. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Uh. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well, well done. This ain't looking good, boys. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. That a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt, and they will take over first and ten. Darnell Mooney and the rest of this offense ready to go again. He's been his typical solid and reliable self, hasn't he, Charles? When you have that go-to receiver that you can count on in the situation where you absolutely have to have him, it, there's nothing better for anybody who's throwing the football. But the best part is the payoff. Two touchdowns already. That's the bottom line when you throw the ball to a guy. Absolutely. Not over 100 yards right now, but he does have the two touchdown catches. From the 34-yard line, here's second and three. They go play action. Now Mahomes. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I see the surprise in the first there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And I don't think he got there. No. Am I going to stop? He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. From this vantage point, they've got the lead here. So for me, that'd be enough to go ahead and punt the football and let my defense defend the long field. If you go for it, you don't get it. Then you really put your defense in a tight spot. Yeah, but we never know what people ultimately will decide to do here on fourth and inches. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Texans will take over. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. They didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking Can't wait. Somebody makes an insane play here. Yeah. And only a Look at this. Up to about the 23-yard line. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback on the expected passing situation. We'll get this out wide to Singletary. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Singletary, they'll run for it. And this will be a Texans first down as the tackle made it. Had to. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
Back now here on EA Sports. Come on, come on. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Singletary again. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, helped their spot, and stacked him up. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and eight. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And down to the 44, five yards that time. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the V-feeders on the interior of this D-line you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, well, you did. That line's not even tofu. I'll tell you that much for free. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming in. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive took a little bit of the wind out of their shoes. Kind of settle things down a little bit. Dude, what are you doing, Brevin? Second down. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Stroud. Escaping the pressure right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And down here, first and goal. If it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. A big one coming in this divisional round playoff, third and goal. Check, Mash. Check, Mash. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal.
That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So a big one coming here for Kaimi Fairbear. This a 27-yard attempt here. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. And now here comes Kansas City. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead and the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Here's Mahomes now on the option right. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what, you drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. Holy shit. Chiefs punter now as he's on the way. This is brought in at the 21. They'll net only 35 here following a 43 yard boot, eight yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So Stroud and the Texans down 35 31. A little over a minute to go. A touchdown likely means they move on in these playoffs. Tense moments for the hometown faithful as they've got it with a first down. Here's Stroud. Looking left side and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Stroud to throw it. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. And remember now, field goal does you no good. This is touchdown or bust territory. So they took a late shot for the end zone, but the defense, as they've been all game long, up to the task. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Stroud. That's caught inside the 20. Yeah, the Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop them with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Now this offense cannot stop the clock now. No timeouts remaining as they come up here first down. Three, three, three. 
Now Stroud. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Ball at the 18-yard line. Here's second and 10. Here's Stroud. Yeah! Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end. That was for you, Hunter. They made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come from behind victory. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbair now to kick it away. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Here's first and 10. Mahomes. Looking for Gray, and he's got him. Now they burn the timeout, and they're kind of in that gray area where they might be able to get two plays in, but maybe just one play left in this ball game. We'll see. Mahomes. And that one too wide and incomplete. Try for Mahomes. Finding Gray on the out route. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. The Texans are moving on as we say so long, everybody. For Charles Davis and all our crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Texans as we say so long from Houston. Stroud played his fucking ass off. See y'all next week, man.